Ladies and gentlemen, happy Memorial Day weekend. This is the starting grid as they have qualified for the Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte. On the pole for the second time in 2016 and the ninth of his career is the man who finished in the top five in both races here last year. Introducing the New Jersey Fury, Morton Truex Jr. Starting alongside the winner of last week's All-Star Race and here last fall, it's Slice but himself, Joey Logano. Row 2, Ricky is in the Stenhouse Jr. Made his cup debut here five years ago. And yesterday's Xfinity Race winner and 2013 pole sitter, Denny Hammer and Hamlin, was the runner-up of both races here in 2012. Row 3, 2013 fall winner, Brad the Big Keselowski. And the Biffmeister, Greg Biffle, last year's runner-up. Row 4, the 40 dominate of 7-time Charlotte winner Jimmy Johnson is the first of 4 drivers who did voiceover work on an episode of Blaze and the Monster Machines that's set to air on Monday. And happy Kevin Harvick, a 3-time winner here. Row 5, it's the mean green subway machine of defending race winner Concrete Carl Edwards. And on his outside, all aboard the Trevor Bain train as it rounds out the top 10. Row 6, the bright yellow fella Paul Menard at a top 10 finish two years ago. And the fastest qualifying rookie in the field, the Napa Maniac, Chase Elliott. 207, it's the Outlaw 2010 winner Kurt Busch, fastest in the first two practice sessions. And wheeling his wheel in Chevrolet is the Rocket Man, nine times Charlotte Porsetto, Ryan Newman. Row 8, Dangerous AJ Armadinger finished strong in both races here in 2011. And 2008 Porsetto, Rowdy Kyle Busch. Row 9, 2007 winner Casey Mears reappears in 17th, and Ryan Cool Blaney hopes to give the Wood Brothers their 7th win at this facility. Row 10, Danica Patrick started 4th here in 2014, and the Cuban Missile 2012 Porsetto Eric Amarola. Row 11, the Rushville Rocket 2003 fall winner Tony Stewart hopes to bounce back after a last place finish in the All-Star Race. And Chris Busher sponsor CSX gave away 200 tickets to the track's Let the Troops Race program to our active military members watch the race in person. Row 12 belongs to Chip Ganassi with Joppa Missouri's two-time fall winner Jamie McMurray who won his first race here in just his second career start 14 years ago. And Sprint Showdown winner Young Money Kyle Larson made his cup debut here in the fall of 2013. Row 13 fan favorite Dale Earnhardt Jr. had power steering problems during practice but his crew was able to fix it so the team won't go to a backup car. The Warrior from Emporia 2012 Fall winner Clint Boyer is there as well. Row 14, two-time Charlotte winner Mighty Matt Kenseth in his final season with Dollar General as the sponsor. And Stone Cold Austin Dillon features the name of General Mills drawing winner Lee's East Rowing Cafe from Rockwell, North Carolina on the quarter panel of his Buzzy V. Row 15, four-time Charlotte winner Casey Citizen Kane swept both races here a decade ago. And Brian Great Scott also made his cup debut in the same race as Larson did. In row 16, you'll find the Chevys of Sleek and Swift, Regan Smith, and the Texas Twister, Michael McDowell. Row 17, Landon Sandcastle took a short flight here five years ago. And Bristol's sixth place finisher, Matt DiBenedetto. Row 18 consists of the amazing David Reagan and the Vidox Plus machine of Cole Witt. Row 19, the thinker Josh Wise for the Motorsports Group and Michael Annette for Harry Scott. And in row 20, it's the Go Fast Racing entry of Jeffrey Earnhardt and the Reed for Speed Sorensen hopes to haul bass in car 55. And ladies and gentlemen, there's your field for today's Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte.